Hey, what's up guys? Today I wanna to show you this really cool tool that excels at letting us create patterns. I don't know about you, but creating seamless patterns is something that I've really struggled with. Typically, if I wanted a seamless pattern, I would go to a website like Vexels, which by the way, I should just plug, this wasn't planned, but they are running some Halloween sale today where I think it's like 40% off. So I will drop a link to that before I forget, because I did forget. Um, but that's what I was doing in the past. Now what you can do with Repper is you can use their app to create like seamless patterns from any graphic. It's really cool. They've got like a, just a ton of functionality packed into their app. So I'm gonna show you some of that today in this video. Also, you can get a 14 day free trial with no credit card required. So it's something you can actually use. So let's get right to it. So the app we're gonna be using is called Repper. I'll put a link to that at the top of the description. I wanted to show you really quickly. I screenshotted this from their homepage. It says right underneath start app. It says 14 days free access, no credit card needed. I love when people believe in their tool enough to let you use it for free, assuming you're gonna like it so much that you'll you know, pay for it uh, after two weeks. So you can go ahead and try it out using the link in the description. Also down there in the description, I've got my eight day print on demand mini course completely free. So make sure you check that out and my print-on-demand Facebook group that I hope you will also check out. All right, let's jump on over to Repper. All right, guys, so we're here on the Repper website. I'm just gonna go ahead and click Start App. By the way, when you uh, join Repper, they have like kind of an introductory welcome series that'll be delivered via email that's really helpful as well to anybody that's new. Uh, so there's some demo projects that are created for us by default. I also just wanted to show you, and I'll start with um, a collection that, and it's called a collection where you can upload multiple images, but I went ahead and created a collection ahead of time where I had um, already uploaded an image. The image is of a bull's head. You can see it on the left-hand side there, okay? And what's cool is like, this is a very flexible app in general, okay, when it comes to creating your patterns. In this case, what I wanted to show you is that like I can kind of crop what portion of my image is utilized in the pattern. Like I can make it small, I can make it big, I can do whatever I want. It's very uh, flexible in terms of like how easy Repper is to work with. So that's the first thing I wanted to show you. Um, the second thing I wanted to show you, because it already has a, a kind of a tiled pattern here by default, uh, I wanted to show you that you can click 3D up at the top of the screen. And if you click 3D, it shows you a 3D mock-up of how this would look on a product. So you know right away if you like the current pattern that you're working with. So it's it's very useful. I mean, honestly, <laughs> I think it's really cool. Um, you can click surface as well, or you can click tile and view the actual tile that is being uh, replicated um, as you go. So I typically use the surface design. Now you can do things like rotate the pattern itself, okay? And that is again over on the left hand side so i'll just leave it at zero for now and you can go to uh effects and there's actually by the way i mean i'm going to show you other ways of doing patterns like there's a whole bunch but really quickly let me just show you some of the effects while it's on my mind so you can make color adjustments similar to what you would do in like photoshop or illustrator or whatever so you can do brightness like you see me doing there contrast all right, it's actually kind of cool to like put the contrast at the uh, extreme, get the fully uh, saturated colors there. Um, saturation here as well looks really cool to kind of play with. You can make it black and white just like that, which by the way, uh, I have some notes here because I met with somebody from Repper to get kind of some tips before I did this video. And one of them was that if you use the black and white feature, uh, that can be good for KDP coloring books. And he said that there's people that are already using Repper to make adult coloring books. Uh, so maybe some more like kind of advanced patterns and whatnot. And he said, you can try the Duotone to make two color patterns, okay? And that's right here. So this is the Duotone. I probably should turn off the black and white and the color adjustments. Uh, and then with the Duotone here, you can select different colors that you would like to work with. So maybe we just do like white and black in that case. Um, different graphics are gonna perform better. Uh, it all depends on the graphic itself. Um, they said things like, you know, start with the largest source image possible, which is generally speaking a best practice. Um, some patterns tile, some don't. Most of them do. So I'm going to experiment with some of the other patterns in a second here. Uh, the 3D mockups built in, I showed you that. Tile mode, you would typically leave at maximum. Uh, app will warn you if you have suboptimal uh, exports. So you can export. That's an option right next to effects here in the app. When you click export, um, you can essentially tell it what image type, 
you want to fit the preview area, which is generally what you're going to want to do. That's the default. And then just click export. Uh, the size and DPI are customizable. And I called this an AI tool. That was how it was introduced to me by a viewer. So, um, you know, you guys, when you guys message me, email me, comment, if you have something cool to show me, like it may end up in a video. That's how this one started. Somebody shared it with me and shared a couple other really cool uh, AI tools with me as well. But um, I forget his name because um, it was a European name that uh, was not a traditional American name. So I forget it. But uh, the guy was really nice in walking me through how to use this app. And he said, it's not technically AI though. So I will uh, quote him there. Um, so here we go back to effects. Oh, we can set like a gradient. You can do halftone, which is kind of crazy here. <laughs> Um, the duo tone we already looked at and metamorphosis is almost like allowing us to adjust the pattern. Uh, honestly, I think it almost looks better to use the metamorphosis, uh, horizontal set to zero. It looks like it gave us a little bit more space or did I just dream that? No, that set it back to the default. Uh, if we move the metamorphosis, maybe it's kind of increasing the gaps there. I don't know. You guys can play around, but one of the coolest things is how many different tiling patterns there are. So the first one is called weave. Uh, there's. The, the default, I should say, is, is called weave, okay? But there's base tilings and then there's advanced tilings, all right? So the there's categories. There's seamless, which I think is gonna be most useful to us print-on-demand sellers, uh, seamed, and then under advanced, there's also seamless and seamed, okay? So um, facade, facade, I probably pronounced that wrong. Now I look stupid. Uh, cross, so it's actually like blending the bullhead into itself there. Um, pyramid, so it's creating like honeycombs. You can get real artsy here. Uh, an actual honeycomb here. That looks really cool. Uh, seamed. So you have a rectangle grid. But you'll notice that it looks... No, no, no. That's not seamless. Because you can see the majority of the guy's head on the... So that is not seamless. But you can play around with this. Obviously, there's so many. It's tough to be like an expert in all them. Oblique grid. Diamond grid. Hexagon grid. Playing cards. Fence. So if you had like a brand logo too, you could pop it in here and make some like pretty cool patterns with your brand logo as well. Centipede, zigzag, roof tile, tapestry, Q, wiggle, jester, bonbon is looking crazy. So I mean, some of these patterns get real crazy. Weave, that's the one that we were looking at before. Uh, bow tie, windmill, clover field, which is like super zoomed into the bull's head. And if we like select this guys, by the way, and then we start playing with like the rotation, you know what I'm saying? Like you can do some really cool stuff here. There's fan, which looks very similar to Cloverfield. It looks like it's just rotated a little bit. Uh, and then under advanced tilings, we have the octagon, arbesque, ladder, Cairo, cross weave, cross facade, cross brick, Echo Tile, Echo Tartan, Diamond Penrose, and under Seamed, you have the Half Brick, and the Penrose, which turned it into, and I mean, this is just one, you know, image that I uploaded, by the way, so I uploaded that Bull's Head image, I think I got it from Vexels, and if I go back, actually, to the collections, I just wanted to show you guys, if you just want to play around, you can look at the demo projects, and they've got images already uploaded uh, here for us to use to play around with. So we can select any of these that we think might look good and kind of just play around. So I can choose like this one. Uh, and then from here, really up to me. And by the way, like you can, you can mess with the image itself over here on the left-hand side. Like look at how I'm changing all of the, the patterns and whatnot. All I'm doing on the very left-hand side there is I'm just moving around the selection mechanism to different parts of the base image. You can also expand it to select more and more of that base image or contract it to select less and less. So guys, I mean, it's it, there's infinite po possibilities here with regards to what you can do with Repper. I wanted to share it because, um, sorry, I forget who exactly shared it with me. My email inbox can get uh, a little crazy at times, but you know, I do check it out and uh, I thought this was cool. I wanted to pass it along. Let me know if you guys end up creating any seamless patterns using it because that is definitely an untapped potential to make sales in terms of uh, us print on demand sellers you know it's, it's a lot easier to create like a static graphic that just sits in the middle of a t-shirt and i'm not knocking that that's by far how i make the majority of my sales but i feel like i've got you know the room to expand into more pattern style designs and i was kind of at a at a loss for how i was going to make them though you know what i mean to make them actually seamless and now it's as simple as just going to tiling here in repper and then going up to the seamless 
uh, patterns up there in the top left and just selecting which one I like or you know you can keep editing it as well so guys I hope you'll check it out the link is in the description thank you for watching this video uh, check out my new private membership community if you're interested the sale ends tonight it is currently 50% off and then the price goes back up to full price I'll leave a link to that in the description as well guys thanks for watching I'll see you tomorrow